children have now been taken hostage. And the greatest insult that the enemy makes, he makes Zedekiah watch. Please forgive me. I'm not even talking to everybody right here, but I'm talking to somebody who had to watch your child go through something. You couldn't do anything. Glory. To help them. I'm going to find 12 people that's going to rock with me right through the evening. You were frustrated me because you watched your child making some bad decisions and some bad choices. And you were trying to figure out how in the world, Lord, just pray, Lord, do I intervene without trying to run their lives? God didn't even let you get in it because he had to allow that child to go through some stuff. Just so that when they come back to their senses, they'll look back and know only God did that. That the hand of God it was working on my life. We had a pity pat praise because I know some of y'all Y'all got perfect children. I, I know you do. But, but I need to talk to some people who, who have seen your child go with me to God. Go through a rough season. And you couldn't understand why they kept going through that vicious cycle. And God told me to tell somebody it was just the season that he made you watch. I don't know. I don't know why they keep doing this. I don't know why they keep falling in love with the wrong people. I don't know why they can't see people for who they are and think they're their friends. But they're really jealous of them. I don't understand how they have all of this opportunity and won't maximize them. I don't understand and I give them everything and they still seem to be unmotivated. And God says, watch. Mm. And after they had to win. Zedekiah has to witness his children being afflicted. The Bible says that now the enemy came for Zedekiah. And watch the text. The Bible says they poked his eyes out. Glory be to God. And all the parents in here, y'all really missed your shot. I'm going to catch you up right quick. He pulled his eyes. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever really, really listen to me. But I told y'all this before. And I got to give it to you again. Uh, you ought to be shouting. Y'all got quiet. But you should have been shouting. Why, Reverend? Uh, you ought to be shouting for what God did. Oh God, they really, they really should have shouted better. I'm talking to the choir. They should have shouted better than the choir. You ought to be shouting for what you have never seen. You ought to thank God that, that when you got home, you've never seen all your stuff on the curb. You ought to thank God as bad as things were that you have never seen a doctor standing over your bed saying you only got a few more days. 
You ought to be thankful unto God that you have never seen a judge sentence you to life without the possibility of parole. And here y'all are in church hiding in the witness protection program. And y'all really should have shouted right through there. Because y'all don't know there's some folk you really want to get to. Mm. Preach, Bishop! Oh, God. But let me give my testimony. The reason why I shout is because in spite of everything that I've been through, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. And I wish I could get some help in this house. You ought to shout right now for what God did not let you see. Lord. Yes, Lord. I've never seen it. I've never. Oh, God. There's some stuff I have never seen. And so in this text, it's not talking about the children. It's talking about the children of God. Oh, and they are in bondage. In other words, I want you to hear me very clearly. We're talking about the children of God. They are in bondage. And in other words, it seems like the enemy is winning. And I know we don't like to admit it. But sometimes it can feel like doing the right thing isn't working for me. But they have on shackles, chains around their wrists and ankles. Don't miss the text. And while they are in bondage, God breaks into the plantage. And here's what God says I have plans for you. Oh my God. And people don't understand when you went through the darkest season of your life that the only reason why you didn't get revenge, the only reason why you didn't wave the right flag, not because everything has been good, but I've been giving glory to God because I know that He still.
has a plan for your life. Every plan for your life. Oh, God told me to tell you there's a plan for your life. So when Jeremiah gives this declaration, on this prophetic declaration, he is not talking to individuals. Make it plain, sir. He's talking to everybody in the camp. God, I can't hear nobody. He says, anybody that trusts God while you're still in a situation, there's a plan for you. I'm looking for some real worship. God says, will you give me glory in this service? I'm not just going to bless you, but I'm going to bless everything that's connected to you. That learned how to trust God when they had their backs up against a wall. There's a plan. Did you scream all the way down the road with your mask pulled up? To scream all the way down the road, there's a blessing coming. There's a blessing. There's a blessing coming. Tell them, there's a blessing. And it's not just for me, but it's for everybody in the camp. You're getting ready to be the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower. There's a plan. The intention of the text. Somebody would have took off that. If you really. What are you talking about, Reverend? Well, I'm saying to you, everybody in the camp is on a come up. In the camp is getting ready to be upgraded. Everybody in the camp, it's your season for promotion. There's a plan. Praise 
need God like they won't need stand your ground laws. No more stop and frisk. No more racial profiling. Sound like you believe that the next generation will have a better way of life and realize that somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody prayed for me. Would you lean over and tell your neighbor, I'm only here today because somebody was praying for me. And there's a plan for my life. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. To the plan. God is in control. He heals intentional. And everything will work out. Just my good, but it's gonna work out for the good. I, I gotta stop. We got to move, but I want everybody standing right here. Please, ma'am. Please, sir. We've already danced.
is going to be. You got hope. Thank you. 